This is what happens when you don't activate your product. Um, but so, so all of that was extracted, so that's part of the deposit MO tool, just to develop things that try and extract metadata. Because during our user testing that we've done now as part of the deposit MO project, we found that the more you can automatically fill in, this is kind of obvious in a way, but we did the user testing to kind of prove it and to see what happened. The more metadata you can fill in, even if it's not 100% accurate, the more the, the, the depositor of that item will care to correct it and fill in the rest of the metadata. Right, so we did a series of user testing with different people from archaeology, chemistry, various different science fields, and whoever we could grab around Southampton, basically. Um, and um, one of the tests, it was an hour long, so you got used to the two technologies, being able to you know, drag and drop things, create records, and this technology, which I'm just about to show you. And um, within an hour, somebody actually gave us 18, I think it was 18, 17 or 18, fully marked up. Records complete with everything, even the optional metadata they decided to fill in. And we didn't tell them to do anything, we gave them three items to get used to the tools. And then they bought their own data. And with it extracting the metadata, they were very keen to just keep going. So it took an hour, hour to do 18, and they found it very positive and a good experiment. So this is the other tool, which is obviously must look familiar to people. So let's go and open this same document again, which is the one I deposited using drag and drop. Hopefully, come on, there we go. So, same tool. Um, here we've got the markup on. So, we've got the author tools installed so that you can mark up things like the title, the abstract, you can have, add your author. This is all Microsoft standard stuff. You can download this, it, it all works to do your references, keywords, everything. Right, the one thing that we've built in Deposit MO is we've built the toolbar. This isn't, it isn't perfect in terms of how it looks, but it is um, in terms of the functionality. In that, what we can do is if I specify the sort endpoint here. Uh, and what we can do is we can submit this to the repository, connects to the repository, and we've deposited it. Um, obviously what I'm going to go and do is go to the repository because that should be a clickable link, but we'll, we'll do that in time. And I'll just show you the record, which obviously there'll be two. There's one I just dragged and dropped, and this one I've now been put in my word. because it's not been published yet, so it needs to be checked by editors, as it were. And test. There we go. So here's the one that we just put in. It says it, we said it was finished, so it's under review. Okay? And, and we've got the document there, and we can again view that, and we've got everything that we've just put in. But I don't like this word utilizing, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here, <coughs> and I'm going to change it to an even worse word. Leveraging. Okay, and I'll save that, because you have to in Word to do anything. And then I'll press this update button. Here we go. That counts as two publications now. No, it's the same publication. No. You just oh. updated it. Because oh, it's got to reset your account. <laughs> Refresh. Uh, no, don't reset the virtual machine. Refresh. Change the title. Right, updated the document, change the title, the version in it, history. Right, straight from Word. So it's interactive now, you can, hold, you can hold the process of publishing open. And that's what one of the key features of Sword 2 is, is we can build objects, we can deposit different things, we can build this thing before we press the publish button. You don't have to come and sit, no one gives a sit. Um, so, <laughs> you can build it up in the repository interactively, and let's go through this whole process, and hopefully, in the future, and this is where the project has been focusing, is building this communication between <coughs> the repository and the user, telling the user where their content's gone, telling the user on every platform where their content's gone, so that they can access it, add it, <coughs> adjust it, edit it, find out their own stats. Build this conversation between your content on the web and your content as it is in whatever system you're using to produce it. Okay? So that's kind of the, the deposit a moment demo, and that's the pretty demo. Thank you very much.